Hi kids, Mr. Bickford again. This is chapter two, lesson two, and it is all about percents and fractions, going back and forth between the two. Uh, because you see the Cornell note format up here, you should be following along either in your composition book or on your note page, as always. And let's get right into it. Uh, the first word that we're going to talk about, keyword today, is percent. So percent, when you see the word percent or when you see that symbol meaning percent, percent means out of a hundred. Okay, that's what it means every time, out of 100. It doesn't matter what the percent is, uh, it always means out of 100. And here are a couple of examples. 37%, that means 37 out of 100. It does not matter what the percent number is. If I have... 150%, that still means 150 out of 100. Whatever the number is, you're going to write that number out of 100. That is the meaning of percent, out of 100. Half of your practice today is going to be this. How do you write, write a percent? as a fraction. And I should have said, I should have added simplest form. Write a percent as a fraction in simplest form. So the first example we're going to look at is 55%. Well, percent means out of 100, so 55% means 55 out of 100. Percent, fraction. This fraction, though, is not in simplest form yet. So to get a fraction in simplest form, you have to do some thinking uh, what number goes into 55 and that same number goes into 100. If, you, if a number ends in 5 and 0, if you skip count by 5s, hopefully you recognize that 5 is going to go into both of these. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to divide 55 by 5 and we're going to divide 100 by 5. That is going to make our simplified fraction. 55 divided by 5 is 11. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So our simplified percent to fraction, the answer would be 11 20ths. 55% is the same thing as 11 20ths. Hopefully you're really starting to notice that this little pattern right here is a recurring theme that we've seen really since we've started math this year. If you divide by the same number or you multiply by the same number, these fractions or ratios stay the same. Another example, 82%. Percent as a fraction, we would say 82 out of 100. So this is a fraction, however, is it simplified? Whenever you have two even numbers, it's never simplified. What is always going to go into a number if it's even is 2, meaning you can chop it in half. So we're going to divide both of these by 2, which is, again, half. What's half of 82? 41. What's half of 100? 50. No common factors for 41 and 50, so we can't simplify it anymore. 
82% as a simplified fraction is 41 fiftieths. Half of your practice today is this. How do you write a percent as a fraction in simplest form? So this is what your work should be looking like today. For half of your practice problems, you're writing a percent as a fraction and then simplifying it into a simplest form fraction. And let's just write right here that this is simplest form. This answer is correct, 55 out of 100. It's just not in simplest form. 11 20ths is simplest form. The other half of your practice today involves the other direction. How do you write a fraction as a percent? Well, going back to our big idea that percent means out of 100, our what we really want to get is we want a fraction that is out of a hundred. Once we have a fraction out of a hundred, whatever this number is, that means you could take that number and change it into a percent. So our goal, if you have a fraction and you're trying to make it into a percent, is you want to change that fraction somehow so that it is out of 100. So this is the other half of your practice today. If you have a fraction and you're wanting to change it to a percent, this is your big idea right here. You've got to change that fraction so that it's out of 100. Let's look at a couple of examples. If you have... 3 tenths. This is 3 out of 10. We want a fraction that is out of 100. Well, how do we go from 10 to get to 100? I think most of you can see that that's times 10. But if you didn't know that that's times 10, start with 100 and divide it by this number. 100 divided by 10 would give you 10. That dot means multiply, shortcut way of saying multiply. 10 times 10 is 100, 3 times 10 is 30. Now that we've got a fraction out of 100, we can change this into 30%. Okay, another example, six eighths. Six eighths, and I want to get a fraction out of a hundred. So I'm looking at eight and at thinking to myself, how do I go from eight to get to a hundred? And it's not jumping out to me right away. Again, if you don't know what this number is, you can divide 100 divided by this number. <coughs> if you calculator 100 divided by 8, you are going to get, your calculator says, 12.5. That is the number that you're going to multiply right here, times 12.5. And we need to multiply 6 times 12.5. And if you're not sure, test it on your calculator. Type in your calculator 8 times 12.5. You get 100. Then you're going to multiply 6 times 12.5. That's going to give you your answer. We get 75 out of 100. And once we have out of 100, We can make that into a percent. <coughs> okay. 
Another strategy. <coughs> Six out of eight. So that you can use this strategy right here. What are you multiplying by? Um, and multiply by the same number. Another thing you can do is simplify. <coughs> Change six eighths into another form that helps you get to a hundred. If we divide six and eight by two, it turns into three fourths. <coughs> now, four, if you think of money, Four quarters are in a dollar, so if you're at three-fourths and you're trying to get to out of a hundred, you can multiply four times, just like four quarters is a dollar, four times 25, and I need to do, whoops, the numerator times 25 as well. So we would wind up with 75 hundredths, which again, out of a hundred, then you've got a percent. So half of your problems today, half of your practice is this, starting with a percent, writing it as a fraction. You make the percent out of a hundred and then simplest form. Uh, the other half of your practice today is this. Write a fraction as a percent. Well, you've got your goal here, if you're starting with a fraction, is you want to change it so that it's out of 100 somehow. Your work for these kind of problems, fraction to percent, it should look something like this. What are you multiplying by to make it out of 100? Remember, this is the key, out of 100. And then whatever that number is, that's a, you can rewrite that as a percent. Another strategy is changing your fraction so that you see an easier path to get to 100. Could, you could do this as well. Okay, that's it for Chapter 2, Lesson 2. Um, I will see you next time.